when we come to nitrates, the nitrates of potassium and sodium, since you have noticed that sodium and potassium are high in the reactivity series, decompose to give their corresponding nitrites and oxygen gas. Use these equations to consider these reactions. Well, the nitrates of other metals that are in the middle of the reactivity series in this case will give off a colorless gas, a brown gas, and a metal oxide. Do you remember the permanent changes in Form 1? At that time, we heated copper nitrate. What were the products? I guess you said these products. Nitrogen 4 oxide gas and oxygen gas plus a black solid of metal oxide. So basically, copper to nitrate is usually blue, green in color, and copper to oxide is black. This is the brown gas and the colorless gas. Another example is lead nitrate. It decomposes to form lead oxide, nitrogen 4 oxide gas, and oxygen gas. Calcium nitrate decomposes in a similar manner according to this equation, as well as zinc nitrate. As you can see, these reactions are very similar to each other. And finally, metals that are low in the reactivity series form nitrates that decompose to give off a colorless gas, a brown gas, and a corresponding metal. For example, silver nitrate decomposes on heating to give silver metal nitrogen 4 oxide and oxygen gases. In a similar way, mercury nitrate decomposes to give mercury plus nitrogen 4 oxide gas and oxygen gas. Ammonium nitrate decomposes very uniquely into nitrogen 1 oxide and steam. Using the following equation, we can picture the reaction. Ammonium nitrate is a solid which decomposes to form steam and nitrogen 1 oxide. Take note of how we write nitrogen 1 oxide. <laughs> 